Life is precious, and it can all change in the blink of an eye. Today, on our channel, we hear of a cheater who threw it all away for the wrong girl at a not-so-happy Thanksgiving. Crazy X started stalking me and acting crazy when I asked for a divorce. My husband, 39, and I, 35, have been married for five years and dated for two years prior. We have never had trust issues or infidelity. We have had a great marriage, the kind of relationship where we were really great friends. We have so much in common, and we can sit and talk for hours. I was his best friend, and we even hung out during guys' nights, watching football with his friends. We had a great relationship. The cheating happened when he went home to New York for Thanksgiving three days early. I arrived the day before. This woman was visiting with his younger sister. They are in grad school together and are really close friends. This woman couldn't make it home to California, so my in-laws hosted her too. Turns out, they all went out for drinks. My sister-in-law left my husband and this woman alone at a friend's gathering. They were all drinking, having a good time. My husband told me they were alone, talking all night. Then, when they returned home to his parents, they drank more. They were up until 2 a.m., and they ended up having sex. My husband didn't make excuses, saying it was the beer. He said he was definitely wrong. He admitted he was flattered that she was flirting with him. He admitted she was extremely attractive, even left her alone to go to bed when he felt himself feeling attracted to her. She came to him, and they were in his bedroom. They drank and talked more on the balcony, and they ended up kissing. Well, they had sex. He told her he was going to tell me. He told his sister the next morning, and his sister told her she needed to leave. So when I arrived, my husband was acting really off. He was feeling guilty as hell, trying to hold his crap together and not ruin his family's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving night, I asked him what the hell was going on with him. He was all over me sexually. He wanted lots of sex, and he was very aggressive during sex. I told him I needed a break. He wouldn't stop. He finished inside me, which he doesn't do. I don't want to get pregnant, I thought. This was out of character for my husband. I asked him what the hell is going on with him. He started crying. He started apologizing. I thought it had to do with money. Never in a million years did I think he cheated on me. He confessed everything. I listened to my husband. I let him speak. I was upset. I felt sick. And I cried. But I didn't get angry. I wasn't disrespectful in my in-law's home. I had my sister-in-law drive me into the city, and I stayed at my friend's apartment while they were away. My sister-in-law told me about this woman. She apologized profusely. I saw a photo of the woman. She is 27. She's absolutely beautiful. Not saying it makes anything okay, but wow, she's the kind of woman men would absolutely fight over. I told my husband he needed to leave. When he returned home, he moved out that Sunday night. He's been driving me crazy, begging me to forgive him. He's been showing up at my work. He shows up at the house. I cannot make him leave because he owns the home too. I told him I think I may consider a divorce. I can't forgive this. I always felt I could work it out if our marriage went through something like this, but I can't. My parents divorced over infidelity. My dad was a serial cheater. My husband has taken steps to fix himself. He's getting help. He's just going crazy because I have just been numb and in shock. I think it comes off as I don't care. I do care. I do love him. But I cannot be in a mediocre marriage. I don't want our daughter. Three, to see our mom accepting being cheated on. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overthinking everything. I don't want to make the wrong decision. I have been told I should keep our family together. He came clean, and he's a good man. It happens once. I know that is a good point, but I feel off. Is it shock, or did I lose respect and fall out of love? I don't know. Has anyone else felt this gray cloud after? Will it pass, and should I just wait a while longer before I make a choice that will turn my life and my daughter's life upside down? Thanks in advance. EOP added some more. I read a post from another Redditor who's going to get a divorce. 
She said something in her comments that really touched me. It opened my eyes. I really needed to hear what she expressed, how this new version of herself is due to his cheating. She is selfish and only cares about herself and her kid. He can go. I feel it's not a bad thing to be selfish in this respect. Javekin77 chimes in. My feelings of love changed immediately. He was tainted in my eyes. I stayed for six years. Big mistake. You will always see him as a kind of off-putting. You'll never forget that he jeopardized your marriage for an intimate moment. What if you had some very good-looking guy come on to you? Are you going to entertain the idea because he's attractive? Of course not. Because committed people don't do that. Your husband is vulnerable, so every appealing person who flirts with him will end up in a difficult situation. What is he, 16? Seriously, your husband is disappointing for putting his possibly unhealthy private parts inside of you after he just had it in another person. Had he even freshened up yet? Was he thinking about her while he was intimate with you? Get tested as soon as possible. What on earth? Edit just to add that he spoiled your in-law's place for you. You'll be triggered every time you step in their house. Don't be fooled by his tears. Every person who's been cheated on will tell you that the cheater cried and cried. Look up statistics about repeat cheating. Not pretty. Separate for a few months before you decide anything. He needs consequences. He's regretful. That's different from remorse. He knew what he was doing. He thought that he could apologize his way out of it. He cared more about satisfying his desires than his marriage. It took one day away from you for him to make a mistake. One day. Mrs. Jingles 729 says, So disappointing that he has intimate moments with you right away. What a self-centered, disrespectful coward. Did he go without protection with the other person also? He protects and prioritizes himself, and not you or your family. Please get tested. Who knows what he's capable of? Why did he tell his sister right away, and not you? It's truly disheartening. His sister also didn't tell you before you put your health at risk. See a lawyer and learn your options. Download a child custody app so you can cut contact with them and start healing. Give your daughter the opportunity to see a happy and healthy relationship, not something toxic. The truth is needed. Once to add, if my partner could tell me that I was their everything before making a mistake and then made a mistake, I would especially never take them back. I wouldn't take a person back regardless because if I was already their best friend, they're all in everything, their upper echelon match, there's absolutely nothing more or different that I could do to prevent them from making a mistake again. And if they didn't have an unwavering respect for me already with the label of their best friend, they're all in everything, their upper echelon match, they will never respect me more or enough in the future to prevent them from making a mistake again. The way that he didn't respect your request from space shows that he cared more about himself than your needs and wants, just like when he pursued and was intimate with that person. Then the way that he violated you during intimacy and was intimate with you before telling you about his infidelity, especially without getting tested, tells you everything you need to know. And it's likely that he only told his sister because he figured her friend would, and he wanted to look like a good guy. But you see that he didn't even tell you and only told you because he figured his sister would. And it's likely that he's made a mistake before. Yikes, OP. I'm so sorry. You have every right to feel how you do. Mrs. Jingles 729 continues. I think it most definitely is a bit of everything, OP. It is quite shocking to know that the people we loved are capable of hurting us like this. I think space right now is helpful to come to terms with what happens and really let the dust settle. I also think it's concerning that he would do something like this with his family around. It just seems so nonsensical, and quite frankly, it seems like it was so easy for him to do. Update. Thank you for all the words of encouragement. I have been sitting with this. I have gotten tested for his STDs, and I'm all good. I have been trapped in New York with my soon-to-be ex-husband. We agreed to spend Christmas with our daughter, and we ended up getting stuck here due to the storm. I told my husband I wanted a divorce, which made him lose his crap. He was stalking me, and he was acting out of character. 
I asked him to please just leave me alone. He was scaring me. He was upsetting our daughter who sensed there was a problem. She is used to a fun and cozy home. Now there's tension. She cried when she told me to give daddy a kiss and a hug. And I refused. It is breaking my heart. I know it is hurting him. He has been a mess. I don't feel sorry for him. I feel for our daughter. She is sad to see her dad sad. And he keeps telling her, I'm sorry. But he can't tell her why. Why he has to leave at night. Why we don't eat as a family. It's been insane, to say the least. I thought it would be good for her if we were a family for Christmas. Well, it's been three days, and no flights are driving until at least the 30th. I don't have $2,000 a day for Hertz to run a car, so we have an extended stay. And I stay in the bedroom with my daughter, and he stays on the rollout sofa. I have been dealing with him asking me why we can't get help for our marriage. I have gotten tears. I have overheard him crying to his dad and mom at 2 a.m., saying he wants to kill himself for his mistake. I received a call from them the next morning, asked if I could ever forgive him. If I couldn't, they said they understand. I admit the thoughts of self-harm are concerning. I don't think he's doing it just to get me back. He is definitely spiraling. I was gentle with him last night. I agreed to talk, not for reconciliation. I just let him express his feelings and get crap off his chest which led me to waking up at 4 a.m. this morning with him laying next to me in bed, him wide awake, staring at me. He said he needed to figure out what he needs to do for me to not leave him. He refuses to live without me. Maybe we have cabin fever. I am starting to feel uneasy. People are insane. I'm not trying to die because he can't live without me. He already feels depressed, and I think losing his daughter will really take him over the top. Is this normal for the cheater to go down this path when the reality of what they're cheating has caused them to lose? My husband is a smart man. He is usually controlled, not someone who is mentally unbalanced. I think the loss of his family may have really pushed him over the edge. Before all this, we were a happy family. Why he was so weak, I don't know. If it is just him being uninterested in me, then I can just step away and make sure he has more time with his daughter. They are extremely close. Hurting her has really destroyed him. His life was being a great dad for her. I thought he loved me. I don't know about that now, but I assume losing his family has mentally affected him. I have sent a text to my best friend of 20 years, keeping her updated. She says this is normal, but I also feel she may be a bit biased because her husband is my husband's best friend and we have all been friends for a while. Our kids are close, and it's a breakup for them as well. I guess I'm looking for signs of someone losing it and doing something extreme. I've just been kind of respectful until I'm able to leave. He has been love-bombing me and expecting a response. He sent the song, I'll Be Over You by Toto and said, I'm dying here, please don't leave me. Maybe I'm losing my crap. I'm in such a difficult situation right now. Any advice? Is this normal behavior from a cheater? Delicious Archer 273 has our first response. I mean, if he was balls enough to cheat on his wife in his parents' house with them all home, and with a friend of his sister, he had to know he'd be caught. He didn't want to stay married. No way he can be dumb enough to think this wouldn't come out. Nuke GM 426 adds, you're seeing firsthand why you don't stay together for the kids. They see the tension, and it affects them. Stay the course. Don't let anyone influence your decision. Consider having him tell your daughter something simple, like daddy broke a big promise to mommy, and leave it at that. Also, consider recommending counseling to him for the self-harm threats. Good luck. Hidden in plain sight has the lengthy thought. A few things. Cheating is a choice your spouse made, a conscious choice to do it. It wasn't your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. Marriage is a promise between two people, and your spouse broke that promise. So anytime your cheating spouse says, I love you, you know it's a lie. If they truly loved you and respected you, they wouldn't have cheated. I'm sorry doesn't cut it for cheating. There is never an excuse to cheat. 
Having said that, you're definitely in a potentially dangerous situation. Part of me thinks he's trying to hang on to what he knows he lost by any means necessary. So maybe have a discussion with him. Make it clear that he lost you for good, but not your daughter. That may help ease things a bit. If he refuses to accept boundaries after that, you may need to take further steps to keep you and your daughter safe. I think that his behavior is definitely strange and concerning. It seems to me like he's looking for attention and sympathy because he knows what he did was wrong. And he still did it. As if he wants people to be on his side to sort of justify this behavior in some way. He did this to himself, and now he has to live with the consequences. I think the idea of living with the choices he made is a terrifying reality for him. But that's life. Life is precious. I'm sorry this happened to you, OP. What do you make of this? Let us know below.